Though two and new this morning, fire racing through a single family home in Charlestown overnight. And this morning, we've learned two people were in that house when the fire broke out. One of them even wound up in the hospital. Eyewitness News reporter Jody Fournier is joining us live with the latest details. It took hours to knock that fire down. The heavy smoke and flames very intense and causing a lot of damage. The home right now is being considered a total loss. Just after midnight, flames shoot and smoke pours from this home on King's Factory Road in Charlestown. Original calls came in as fire in the home's chimney. The flames spread fast. Extended up into the walls and up to the ceiling. Assistant Fire Chief Joe Whedon tells us firefighters had a tough fight dealing with an old home and icy conditions. Plus, there are no fire hydrants. They set up uh, folding tanks and then uh, shuttled water from uh, Ninnegrip Park. We had a fill site over there with trucks over there. Two people inside the home when the fire started were able to get out. One of them was transported to the hospital with minor injuries. Right now, investigators are still on scene and say from the looks of it, the home is a total loss. Put it inside. Uh, the, the upstairs roof has collapsed in on itself and uh, the house is no longer inhabitable. And we're told two firefighters were injured on scene. One of them fell on the ice but was treated on scene and is now okay. The other one was taken to South County Hospital with chest pains and is still being treated right now. We know the fire marshal is on scene and he continues to investigate. We're live at the Mobile News in this morning. Jody Fournier, Eyewitness News.